guys, welcome back to another episode of Saving Grace. <laughs> My name's Grace. Just having a laugh with you. <laughs> it's Joe, but today I'm GK Baggy. What the? F <laughs> <laughs> um, and who am I joined by today? Morticia Adam. <laughs> <laughs> and Uncle Festa. Uncle Festa. And how are you both? Well, I just want to make a point to all you people who are watching and listening that basically the whole budget went on Joe, so I look at the f***ing state of my face. I look f***ing good though, don't I, Lee? <laughs> and this is all I had in the wardrobe today, so I've just come like this. Yeah, you've you, just come as yourself, really. You haven't even dressed up, Terry. I ain't. <laughs> oh, GK. this is so hot this well, week. I can't keep up the grace for the whole time, because fuck me, I've got to save some for tonight. Do you know what I mean? So... <laughs> How have things been this week in the Bags family household? Let's have How a catch have up. Been? Not too bad. Getting on all right, mate. Sort of. Oh, just hurt my shoulder. Oh. Yes, yeah, been fine. Yeah? Yeah. We went out for a nice meal. Okay, tell me more. Two for one burgers. Two for one burgers. Pub. Okay. Chicken for heat burger. How Lovely. So you're both advocates of the old rumpy pumpy date night. No, Joe, we just had a meal and went over and I went in my room and he went in his. I can't do this. No, we just got bloated, didn't we? Oh, do you know what Fell we asleep. think really what we've eaten in the last week? I mean, my God. It's just been ridiculous, isn't it? Wrote it down, it's terrible, isn't it? He's terrible. Side of salad. Takeaway pizzas. Yeah. Takeaway China. Oh, it's always always a takeaway. Take isn't it? No, pub Saturday for George's birthday. Oh. Roasting a Sunday. I know. I've never been so full in my life. I was in a food coma, wasn't I? Oh. Uh, it's the biggest belly I've ever seen. Uh, so, I was pregnant again. Thanks. <laughs> well, mm. well, I fucking hope not. It wouldn't be yours though, would it? <laughs> Why not? Look like Uncle Fester. Oh. Anyway, um, oh. ter Terry, what's been going on in your life this week? I've been out and about. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't take myself seriously. <laughs> GK. <laughs> Baggy. Baggy. I can't believe it. You do, thought, you do look beautiful. I thought you was the real thing. Oh, when so you did I. Spam around there. So did I to look down and saw a massive cock in between my legs. sisters right now, let me tell you. I know, I'm the better looking one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're actually not. You're equal. You're muff, twins. muff, 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 muff. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Oh, dear. And um, I actually helped train Grace for a tour advert. Did you see it? No. Guys. Guys. We're going on fucking tour. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing that IY thing as well? Yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah. Stand up to I'll imagine no, you that. You'll fall off. Yeah, you'll no, fall off. yeah, no. I'm good at the good at the IY. Do you know what I mean? Oh, she's been amazing You better get that. fingered. Oh, Oh, yeah. Oh. Right, enough grace. Yeah. <laughs> She's going to um, kill you. Enough grace. So the week's been good. Yep. Yeah, everything going well. Yep. So uh, we're introducing a segment to the podcast. Hint, roll titles, please. Boom, boom, boom. We are doing... It's like for the music. Oh, we're not fucking live, are we, Lise? It's called Cancelled Courtroom. Cancelled, as that would say. Cancelled. So in the house this week, someone would have been cancelled. George, me... You or mum, okay? So what that means is someone that's been winding each other up, doing things wrong, irritating, etc. And I want to go around the room and see who would have been cancelled in the Bags family courtroom this week. I'm exempt because I'm GK Barry. <laughs> <laughs> well, that only really leaves him, me, Dad and George. I mean, fucking hell. Or Dolly. Or Dolly. Or Dolly. No, he's been balls deep, hasn't he? Oh, all right. <laughs> George has been out and about. Dolly's... Dolly's wearing me out. Well, up, to be honest with you, a little bit upset because I haven't really seen your brother at all. I know. Since his birthday, it's been like he's been like a bit of an enigma. I he's know. just sort of waltzed in and waltzed out again. I completely agree. I, I mean, lost, done all, I've done all the house up for him. I've not seen him. I know. He's just been disappeared. And now, now he's disappearing asleep. for another two weeks. <laughs> well, we can touch on that, actually. Let's hold off touched on that. We can talk about that a bit more. Okay. Um, anything pissed you off this week? Um... No, not really. No, you've been completely chill. That sorry, is not you. Sorry, sorry. He's know, pissed I'm off calling, every day. I'm calling BS. What has pissed me off? Surely time? they're saying, Dad, like the economy, the, do you know what I mean? Prices of things. Uh, prices of things. Yeah. Petrol. Okay, but that's not us, is it? So basically, who has pissed you off in that? Come on, I know you're both holding back. My mate pissed me off this week as a go. She's been all right. So, go, so in the council court, have I pissed you off? No. Too busy fucking climbing my eye wire, aren't I? <laughs> Can't piss anyone off. Um, no, do you know what it is? It's been quite a chilled week this week. Mm -hmm. Work's been a little bit quiet. You've not been at home. George has been absent without leave. So, George Which is cancelled. George's birthday, really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it's, that's been, why. it's all about George. It's been all right. Okay, well, if we're going to spill some tea, 
George um, got a hellish taxi home, didn't he? Paid for a oh, bottle, bottle at a club. Yeah, that pissed me off. Okay, that did, hit actually. Me, hit me, Lisa, come on. Basically, he went out with his friends on Saturday night. We saw him Saturday during the day and it got to half two in the morning and I'm texting him saying <laughs> Bless to him, you, Uncle Fester. And I'm saying to him, it wasn't I, well, you weren't there, texting him saying, where the fuck are you? Mm -hmm. Half two. Yeah. I'm in the cab on the way. I'm a fault. I said, are you drunk? He went, no, I'm fine. Well, I watched him come in at 20 to four on the ring doorbell, right? Not the fucking ring doorbell. And I thought... Lisa, you menace. Yeah, and I thought his top looked a little bit wet. Yes. He basically... Was eating puss. Was uh, sick all the way home. At the cab driver had to make him stop and get some money out of the cash machine to pay for the cleaning in the back of the car. It's absolutely And he actually feral. walked out and left all his mates and his poor mates were doing their nut and one of them fell over, face plant the floor and cracked his tooth right in half. The other one was literally sitting there being sick over himself. And he, and was, do he was being sick down the motorway, 80 mile an oh, hour, with his head out the window. That oh. is, I've never done that. And he was sick on public transport, weren't he? Sounds like me in Nottingham Uni. Oh. Except I was being fingered. Oh. <laughs> Gee, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I was on a high wire. Oh, what being fingered? <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's going to love you for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've perfected the character down to a uh. T. So, speaking of T, Terry, hit us off first. Who are you nominating to be cancelled for this week? George. George. Yeah, I think George as well, because we've not seen him, George. and I'm a bit upset about that. Yeah, he's been a little shit. <sighs> we need a hammer on set, but I'm going to. You know what I'm going to hit it with? Just gently. I'm going to do it with the blood Gently. End. Oh, it's almost like when I was back to my love, honey days. <laughs> Gee, Court guys. adjourned. George is cancelled for this week. You are, you're just brilliant. You could be sisters. Oh, this bloody wig's Yeah, I feel like I'm in Shrek. Right. <laughs> Rosie, that's sharp. So, <laughs> sorry, don't mind me, oh. Um, so, as many of you might know, now, on to the next segment. Locked in. George Baggs. He's Mem going. He's going. To <laughs> into. Thank you, Festa. Locked in. But could you, I'd like to know, could you explain to me, because I don't really know okay. much about the programme, what is it, what is the concept? Yeah, sorry, my nipple piercing is itching. I was about to say. Yeah. You only shave your armpits, Grace. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, can't. <laughs> Stop the swearing, bitch. Oh, Could you sorry. just please explain to me about what the concept is of this locked in? Okay, so essentially locked in is is almost an imitation, like Big Brother. But, but for young but kids. For young, younger influencers, content creators, big youtube background, kind of put into a house, two weeks, challenges each day, there's voting in and out of people. It's just, it, there's a diary room and it's sponsored by Did Foot Asylum. they have to pick their own food and drink and all that? Uh, I'm so sorry, I'm not even confident which end that came out of. Oh... Um, so, <laughs> so um, would you say sorry? No, I said, do they get like on Big Brother? They get do they get to choose their food or their I'm drink? I'm not or? sure the food situation. I remember there's a clip of Grace uh, with a penne, the fucking penne last oh. year. So I know that they do cook in there. But um, yeah, so George is going in. Obviously, Ash you've met, she's going in. Ah. Uh, Madam Joyce, who I love, is going in. There's a really good lineup. Casey J. Um, if who, George has got a cook, he's going to starve to death, isn't he? Yeah, no, it, I definitely don't think he's got a cook in there. But um, yeah, it's going to be exciting. So uh, firstly, you're going to miss him. I'm going to miss him. He's going to miss, he's told me he's going to miss talking to you every day. Talking to me? Yeah. I know, that's a bit of GK Barry. He's going to take his fucking virginity, will not I? Oh, God. Is that, <laughs> that, is that, is that <laughs> dream of that? Yeah. yeah, till that fucking girl got to it sooner than me. Ugh. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. I'd let him, She's so good, isn't she? I'd let him think me up high wire, do you know what I mean? Oh, Joseph! God, is it is my brother, Stop that is it. absolutely revolting, I'm in drag. Uh, anyway. You know, he did say he was going to miss you, he's going to miss everyone, because he's not used to not talking to us on a daily mm. basis, so it's going to, and he's only 21, just. And yeah. that's the first time he only had his phone for two weeks. I think the, he'll struggle with the phone thing. I think he's going... Fresh to, into relationship, I think he's going to struggle. I think he's going, he's going to make more of a man of him and he might appreciate us all a little bit more yeah. for not being at home. I and he'll so. realise what we all do for him. I think that's a really amicable, nice way of saying it. And I yeah. think so too. I'm going to miss him. But at least, yeah. do you know what? We can watch him every night. Yeah, he's got my boots to live up to, doesn't he? <laughs> 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 I keep going. Like, carry on, Phil. <laughs> um, Uncle Fester, any comments? No, I'm just going to miss him, that's all. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. That's everything. Just going to miss no, him. No, you're just missing bossing you about and saying, can you go and do this with me car? It looks like I've got two up? weeks off, really. This? I know, it is. Because you did everything for I've him. I've got two weeks off on holiday, You're yeah. a nightmare, you yeah. are. Um, any predictions? Do you think he'll go far in it? 
I want him to be himself, right? I want him to, I just, I've said to him, be yourself, be kind, just be funny like you always and if are. if he can't be GK Barry. Yes, exactly. Mm. So, he could probably get thrown out for that. No, I've just said to him just to enjoy the whole experience. It's a once in a lifetime experience, isn't mm. it? Just as long as you don't get too bored in there. I think because he could get a bit by the sounds of it the boredom could strike at any point however Ash is like a firework I love energy. Ash I and love she's her she's so incredible and she's so funny look she shouldn't have told me this she shouldn't even be saying it and I'm not going to say it but she told me a mystery item in there and given her mystery item it's going to be fucking hilarious in there trust oh, me really? yeah very very funny I'm very excited I can't, to see it Jill, she's telling me and I've forgotten what he told me he was taking in yeah I know what he's taking in I don't know if you can say this Rose you can bleep it fuck I don't know how to play he's never played Do you know when what? have you ever seen George Bag? Play the game. Yeah, but he d yes, he has, Terry. He, we played when we had COVID. We played Monopoly and we played um, Scrabble with him. I mean, when he chose John or Rose, Liz. Um, no, I'm alright. Oh, Leave me a little bit, please. You don't want fucking plan for it. They don't call me GK Rose. I bottle up the puss for nothing. Oh my god! Is this <laughs> That was out of pocket. <laughs> GK. <laughs> Terrible. Um, so yeah, but so you're excited to watch it. Are you going to be watching every night? If we know how to work it, we will, won't Fucking we? It's on YouTube. You're yeah, in bed I've by I've got six. the YouTube on my phone, but I need to get it up on my telly, but I uh, don't know. You know how thick I am. But it might be on after six. You're in bed at six, isn't you? Right, oh, Can't eat after six. Sorry. Can't eat after six. Don't start. Six well, I don't know what we're going to do for his birthday. New Year. You've got to eat after six, mum. Yeah, I know. Can't... Shall I come as Grace for New Year's? Yeah. Oh, why don't we all go fancy dress? Yeah, I love a bit of Shall we? Because we are. Why don't we go as fancy dress for your birthday? Like we used to in Cornwall. That'd be hilarious. Everyone's got to go as fancy dress. Yeah. I bet George will say no, though. Because he'll have his girl there and all that. Unless well, we all dress up as GK. Shall we? There'll be eight of us. A, a night of a thousand graces. Yeah. I can't yeah. wear a crop top, though. Nor I could. Dad. I'm barely struggling as we are, Lisa. Well, I've got to have my nipple pierced. I love a bit of fancy dress. When I was at Nottingham Uni, I uh, ate a girl out dressed as Snow White. I had an apple in my mouth. <laughs> apple in my mouth the whole fucking time, didn't I? Oh, please. Uh, yeah. yeah. I've got to go out not in a new God day. forbid. God forbid. That's I can't take you seriously. I've got all my, my wigs coming off. Oh, no, you're right, you're right. I bet you want to borrow this, don't you? So I'm a pretty, oh, I'm a pretty little thing ambassador now. Mm. Yeah. Bottle Polish. Uh. <laughs> Oh uh, dear. Go for asylum. Uh, Complete it, mate. Uh, <coughs> yeah. Got fingered last night. <laughs> yeah. Fucking <laughs> uh, Fucking love it. Uh, anyway, on to uh, <laughs> this is Rosie, this is the uh, most ridiculous shit. Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> is there anything you're worried about with George going into locked in? Um his manners actually. Hmm. Well, no, I mean, I don't mean Matt. I mean the burping, farting. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, He's got IBS, runs in the family. No, he hasn't. He just farts and burps no, after every meal. <laughs> There's a lot of runs in our family. I tell you that now. I don't want, I would like him to be like, you know, not sit there and burp at the table or fart around people and just, you know, be mindful that there are other people. Be a lady room. like me, GK Barry. Oh, God's sake. Do you think he could be tempted by Casey J or Tennessee? No, 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 no. Not in a zillion years because he's in love. No, he's moment. too loved up. He's too oh. loved up. I've, oh, no. I've spilled wine on no, my chin. Come here, come here. Wine on my chin, wine you, on my chin. Oh, did you put spray on? Yes, yeah, that's right. That, you should that won't come off then. Okay, fine. It'll be fine. Um, um, oh, the girl I never had. <laughs> um, do you think he will get into an argument? Possibly. Do you think? Well, I don't know. It depends how far someone is prepared to go to piss him off. They might do it to deliberately wind him up. You know, oh, I'm ready to get in an argument. He's like you and he. I don't think he would do well in an argument because he's not very confrontational anyway. If, no. if we start, it's normally me. If someone pisses him off, though, he's going to... Yeah, I think he'll say it. To be honest, when you two have had arguments, which you've had quite a few this year, he's always taking it on the chin, oh. taking a deep breath, and he's been he's very not respectful very, back. Yeah, he's not very, like fiery in that way so I think he'll be okay I think he'll just go, like me and you, go off he? to the diary room money. he, he, he takes like me more like you, you than me and he's not like me, me and Joe are very fiery and you just explode dad holds it in me and mum are more no, like we are out there the moment we? there's disrespect oh my earrings Lisa I'm gonna go fucking GK wallop him and I <laughs> <laughs> yeah I mean he's yeah he's yeah it's really funny because you look like dad 
not dressed like Grace. Do um, I? Today? Yeah. You look like Dad, and but you've got my personality, and George looks like me, and he's got Dad's personality. Mm. Although you're both hilarious and you get that Everyone from doesn't me. think that I'm related. Why? I don't know. Everyone said it recently. Why? Oh, sorry, Dolly's shaking her minge over there. Because oh. you're GK. Because um, I'm GK and no one thinks I'm related. Because you're really? not related. My no. name is Grace Barry. <laughs> well, that's why you're not related then. I'm a Barry. Well, actually, she's like a bit of a thingy of our family. Isn't she, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, uh, extension. No, not extension. Like ass extension. Because no, I've got that big old the word. batty old. She's a thingy of our family. What's that? No, I'm just, what's the word? Lisa, come on. Extension? She's, no. Oh, I'll think of it in a minute. She's a... This week's just doing my brain in, so I Lodger. can't think. Lodger. 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 Oh, I can't think of the word. I'll think I don't need it. that terrible oh. bar my own ass. Guys, this is the heaviest thing I've ever had on my head in my life. Okay, anyway, predictions for Locked In. Where do you think he'll place? I think top three. I think top three. Top three. I'd like him to win it, actually. So you think win, me and Dad are top yeah, three? Yeah, I'd like him to win. I, if he will win, is another how issue. How much is on the line? I mean, aside the money, like how much are we betting? I'll bet a tenner. You're paid for, for, like, if you win. Yeah, if you win, you win 10 grand, I think. Is that known, Rosie? Yeah. I think they win a lot of money if they win. He's a lying He's a slippery sod. Wait, did he, he tell you guys? Yeah, he told us he got nothing for winning it. Little shit. No, he didn't. No, he did. He said, he said, <laughs> no, he said 10. He said 10. But I, I thought that was though. a lie. I thought, you, I thought he was lying. I'm no, you do win money. You do win money. Right, so top three. Oh, right, I'll say three. You say two. I'll Mum say says one. one. Three, two, one. Yeah. Three, well, two, one. let's see. Honorary. What does that Grace mean? Grace is an honorary member of our family. Fuck Got it. me. Got it. That rosé is rotting your brain, Lee. <laughs> this you know, fucking wig. Jesus Christ. It's like someone's sitting on my head. <laughs> fucking used to that one, aren't you? I don't really know. What the fuck? News is the name of this segment. So this is news this week that I've seen and been like, what the fuck is this about? And I wanted to share with you. But Might be a bit more exciting than when we were on Gogglebox and we're made to watch every COVID report ever. Oh. You don't watch the news. So what have you watched? Nah, because my Hancock fingered me. <sighs> I do apologise, <laughs> everyone, for my son's behaviour. I just, uh, he wasn't brought up like this. Tweet it. Matt Hancock fingered GK Barry. Oh. oh God. Oh. Yeah, it was all about that jungle, wasn't it? Oh. Your dad's going to have a heart attack in a minute from laughing so much. Uh. Right, it's the most I've ever made my dad laugh. Right, so, number one. <sighs> I'm just going to play you this. I'm not going to read it out. Okay. I'm going to get you to react to it. So if you just squidge over to Dad, so you're in, Rosie, are they like together on camera? Yeah, because I literally turned everyone on Instagram. Listen to this. So my friend Amelia, who I was with yesterday, she's got a mate called Ellie who's in a house share in London. And um, Ellie shares with like a bunch of girls. And one of the girls was telling her she's just been on a hen do to Amsterdam, where the stag and the hen went at the same time. I think they were all just like a mixed social group who kind of like knew each other, but then the stag went one day and the hen one way and the hens went the other. Oh, why's it gone off? And oh. one of the girls she paused. on the hen do got super drunk and went into one of these booths with like a glory hole. And so a guy on the other side stuck his dick through. So the girl was just drunk. And, and so, it's so basically, I bet, I know. It's one of these ones apparently where like if like she pushes a button and the guy pushes the button on the other side, they can kind of see who's on the other side. Like it makes it like oh. transparent, like a window so they can see. And so, being drunk, she thought it'd be hilarious to push his button just to see who she'd been sucking off. And so she pushes the button and looks up, and it's her dad on the other side. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Oh, that's disgusting. We went home early because it was, like, so traumatic. And the girl's fallen out with all her family. The mum's obviously found out and is, like, not speaking to the dad. Like, it's broken up the whole family because this girl sucked off her dad. Oh, I'll find it out to swallow. <laughs> <laughs> oh! I'm sorry, that is... Uh, that is... The dog's under the desk for anyone that heard snorting during I'm that. I'm sorry, I think that is probably one of the most disgusting things I've ever heard. Traumatic, isn't it? But why would the dad do that in the first place? Why, why is your why dad? Why is somebody doing why that? Why is your dad? Why dad let's go ask there? Terry. Why? Well, let's ask Terry. Why would anyone go and do something like that when he's I've, got a lovely wife and? I've never been to Amsterdam. But why would a man want to do that when he's got a lovely wife and daughter and kids mm. and all that? Welcome back to GK's know, like, family it's... therapy. Yeah. Why would you want to do that? I don't know. It's mm. disgusting. I do not want to know. 
Anyway, that story that that girl read out, repulsive. That, I'm sorry, repulsive. that is, that's gross, isn't it? Yeah, I know, mm -hmm. I know. Mm -hmm. I've got some news for you both. What? It was actually debunked today that that never happened, which is a shame. Um, I saw a news article. Apparently someone did some digging through every single place in Amsterdam. Apparently people have got time. And, uh, um, and they found that there was nowhere that you could turn the frosted glass on and off. So they did that just for the publicity? So I'm assuming it was, it was a fake story, yeah. Oh, but my, who's got time to do shit like that? My God, has it gotten around? Because everyone I know knows about the girl that sucked her dad off in Amsterdam. So I bet she's famous now, isn't she? I know. Get her yeah. on a TV show. I bet she I is. I bet she's a new host of This Morning. I bet she is, yeah. Half a million workers in the UK are set to have a 10% pay rise. The new wage structure raised the minimum pay rate to £12 an hour for those working outside of London, marking an increase of £1.10 per hour. For workers in the capital, the new minimum rate will be £13.15 per hour, reflecting a £1.20 pay rise. How do you feel? I think that's banging. I think people should be getting even more than that because everything's gone up, but wages haven't gone up. What, do what you so if you work inside, you get a pound more, less? No, no. Average wages across the UK are all going up anyway. Well, I'm sorry. Doctors only get £14 pounds an hour. So that's bollocks. They should be getting double. I know, I know. Well, it's yeah, fucked, isn't sorry. It, really? I, I'm for the NHS, I'm afraid. Yeah. And I think everybody else does an amazing job. We're all struggling, cost of living crisis. However, the doctors and nurses, if they got a load more money, there'd be a load more people to go back and work for them, and we wouldn't be in the state we're in right now. What do you think? I think with the cost of living, everyone should get a rise. Yeah. Yeah. Power, too dear. power to the people, power to the puss. Everything's I'm too GK dear. Barry, How's and I'm running puss? for Mayor of London in 2025. That do. We're all vote for you. Yeah, and then you won't get you, Liz, if you come in. Yeah, every person when they arrive to work will get a body crayon and a finger up their arsehole. Oh wow! Oh, you such a lovely little boy as well. I know. And now I'm a total slag. <laughs> Can you someone sort this fucking wig out? Because I'm sitting on it. Oh, yeah. I'm smooth it. Oh. I cannot believe that my son's made me dress up like this. This is actually... It really is Halloween, Lisa. Halloween. It's Halloween. It's, it's too heavy. Halloween. Right. Next one. Pilot... Oh, my God. This is not funny. No, this, isn't, this is I not funny. This is not funny. But We're when I saw it, story. I did laugh. And then I was like, it's not Help. funny. Help. Right. Sorry. It needs to let out a bit of wind. <laughs> GK Bazza. You know, I'm, I'm not a fucking superstar. Sometimes I do get a bit of wind. A bit backed up. You know what I mean? It's the wine, love. Uh, I know. And, oh, oh, there we go. Come on, Uncle hey. Fester, let it out. Uh, so, pilot Han Shrooms tries to turn the engine off mid-flight. He's charged with attempted murder of 83 passengers. He's pissed, though, isn't he? Yeah. As a GK Barry, I'm scared of flying. Um, so was the pilot pissed? No, Mum, he's on shrooms, and he's been charged with attempted murder. That is attempted murder. You tried to turn the engine off a plane mid-flight. Yeah, but he'll, he'll go for the um, route of his... He was in psychotic behaviour, so he had a psychotic episode. I mean, regardless, that terrifies me, and I do not want to get on a plane anytime soon. And I well, aren't you lucky that you've got a choice to get a plane? Because me and Dad haven't had a fucking holiday for four years because you won't look after the dog. Ooh. Get out of that one, GK. Yeah, so aren't you lucky that I'm not getting on a plane? We'd love to. Well, Lisa, with the KFC money, with the Bariaki burger, <laughs> I'm just fucking buying a new dog, can I? No, we don't need a new dog. We need a holiday. I just buy a new dog. Buy a new dog. Buy a new dog. One that don't snore so much. Yeah. Oh, don't we love her? Got We're... pets at own brand deal coming up. If you want to get involved, bit quick moolah. Bit hello fresh, you know what I mean? Never seen his head laugh so much at you. You should come home more often dressed uh, like this. Uh, last one. Paris Hilton hits out a sick trolling over the size of her baby son's head. Well, that's just a bit fucked. No, isn't your it? head was oh, massive. It, I mean, this does look a bit edited, but that's the picture. Oh, looks a bit like dad. <laughs> I thought it was a mirror. <laughs> Your head was massive. Did you have a big head? You did, and you had really big eyes. And I kept going to everyone, oh, look, he's got lovely big brown eyes. And the, the health is it went, that's because he's got a sophical reflux. Question for you, Morticia. Did I split your purse? Did I what? Did I split your purse? No, you didn't. You just traumatised me for the five, first five years of your life, basically. Would you rather have had trauma for five years or a split purse? Split purse any day of the week. Well, I'm sorry. And everyone, <laughs> and everyone bought you an app for your birthday because your head was so big. Did they? Did they? Was it that big? No, you horrible bastard. I mean, it was lovely. I was did have jaundice. And I thought you was, had a lovely Mediterranean tan and you didn't. You had jaundice. Born in the med. <laughs> I, I thought, you look so much, you look like you've been on holiday, you look beautiful. And that's when the midwife went, no, Lisa, he's got jaundice. I went, oh, holy fuck. You look like un Uncle Fester when he came out, didn't he? Oh, he's lovely. Guys, you know what? It's hard being born a beautiful woman. 
But mm. when it happens, it happens. We should have known then. We and should exactly. have got a week on you and that would have been it. Exactly. And look, I've got the perfect puss. Do you know what though? We will say, you know when you, grow, <laughs> you were growing up, Joe, when you was growing up, it yeah. wasn't, George was the one that dressed up in women's clothes. George had babies. You had all the Tonka toys. You had all the... Lisa, I'm not dressing up as women's clothes. My name is Grace Barrett. No, I'm just saying, jo, as Joe Bagzellini, that character that you're also... Who is that? Well, that's my son. The one with the wide mouth on Gogglebox. Yeah, I'd fuck him. Ugh. Yeah, I actually wanted to fuck him before I knew he was gay. Is that what she said? That... Yes, that's what me, GK Barry said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck him. Uh... Did you say what she said? Yeah, she said, yeah, fuck him. Grace! Grace! Disgusting, Grace. Grace Rosie, I, Rosie, I think genuinely this might be the most unhinged I've ever been. <laughs> oh, she says sitting on a wig. Okay, next one. Next one. Will that dog shut up? I can't even hear her. Um, da -da 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 -da. Okay. <clears throat> in the spirit of Halloween, we're going to contact my ass in the non-existent spirit realm. No, I'm joking. We are going to talk about spirits and paranormal activity, okay? Um, Mum, your views on this. Do you think go surreal? Um, what happened to us Saturday night? Hit me. We're watching. We were watching. Was it Beckham or Tyson Fury? Beckham One thing. I went, did you see that? And it, this all went right the way around. I'm telling you now, someone, as I told you, all the, you know, everything's going, oh, sitting on my wig. It was like the going, little lie out of pole, guys. No, it was, it went, it was, listen, And this happened to you? No one reversing he, in the driveway? He was in my room sure with me bad. and it went, I said, did you see that? I, I've got a lot of spirits coming my way at the minute. You know, yeah, same. Uh, vodka Red Bull, yeah. vodka Crown, no, my, my vodka was, Lemonade. No, but the thing is, you know, I mean, when you think really in the last... Sucking in that laughing. <laughs> <laughs> the last year, what's happened to me, like with in, like my whole life's completely changed. Mm. And it's like I'm being visited from people that are um, letting me know that... Shuck and here, Dolly, drinking that I water. I know, so can I. Do you know what? Do you know what, Lisa? That sounds wetter than my puss. Oh, for... <laughs> You need to be uh, in this, this like set up a bit more so often. So I'm sorry, you know, <laughs> I'm the new co-host of Saving Grace. Oh, why don't we all just dress up as Grace on New Year's Eve? Anyway, yeah. sorry, yeah. spirit. So spirit. basically, I just feel like since I've had this massive change in my life, um, she says doing all her hair. Yeah, look, yeah. Leave your hair alone. Shut up, you're just jealous because you ain't got none. Um, basically, I'm, I am being visited. I've, yeah. I've got... I've had a lot going on in my life. So you're being visited. So you believe... But they're nice. But they're, not, they're not nasty. Yeah. They're not. I mean, what the man passed that side and she's definitely a woman because she was like a... I can see her right now. She's like a like a creamy... At least we ain't had the hands in our face and all that like the... Oh, yeah, but you... House. No, but so that... So you were going to you. <sighs> that happened on... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, just had a spirit visit me from beyond. Oh. Michael Jackson shoved a finger up my ass. Oh. Anyway, no. So I'm having nice kind of um, visits, but he had that horrible one, Danny Cornwall. Okay, Uncle Fester, tell, tell me more. Tell me more. Uh, everyone was going. There's lights flashing on and all that in this little cottage. Mm -hmm. I Where were that. we? Corn Cornwall. Was you, you weren't there, were you? Uh, no, no you weren't. George, you, George. you got, yeah, yeah. And as we walked in, as we walked in, you went. Fucking hell. We said on the me. thing, this is 13th century. I thought someone's died. It's right by the sleep. 13th century. It's right up century. the alleyway back but the St. Ives. It's yeah. like really, and you've got these little tiny steps and he I walked really in, he went, really. he went. But I once fucked a guy from 13th century. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We used pig skin as lube. Oh, God. Yeah. Are you all and right? then he wiped his hands in my head as he walked through. Ah! <laughs> nah, that's the, that's the so, woman. So 13th century cottage. Yeah. And then lights are flashing on and Lights are flashing on all that, and I thought I was just start, talking about Start to finish, talk me through it, talk me through it. We're in this little cottage. Which mm -hmm. was lovely. Which was lovely. Mum was going, oh, some no, there was these no lights ain't in right. My, in my room. George is going, the light keeps flickering all that, and I thought, oh, they drive me mad. So they both went to bed, I switched the lights out, and this hand just went straight across my face. I thought, fucking hell. It's like saying to him, Full like, on hand. Yeah. yeah. So the next morning, as soon as we got out of there, I went, come on, come on. I got out and I went to there. No, all week that I said to you, there is something you could you could just tell there was a oh. presence in that cottage. It's a very, like, really old cottage. There's probably been yeah. hundreds of people died in there. You know, so he was like, oh, fuck, don't be so stupid. And then when we were getting ready to go, he kept saying, what? Well, 
hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. And I said, what's the matter with you? Like, oh, she was rushing. He was, I said, what's wrong with you? And he, he got really arsey, didn't you? Hurry up, get in the car. So I went down to the beach and just did my usual, bye, St. Ives, see you soon, you know, mm -hmm. you know, got in the car. He turned on the engine. I went, why are you driving like, like an idiot? He went, fucking want to get away from that cottage. I went, why? Well, I went, that was haunted. And that he's never believed me right. about spirits and all that. Yeah. So for once in your life, you, this is, I do feel stuff. Yeah, I know, but that was. Like, yeah, but I, yeah, I, yeah, but I listen, that. I told you the other night when I got woken up being poked in the back and it weren't you, mate. You weren't, no, it wasn't Jason Momoa, let me tell you. I sometimes have that. Spirits visit me in my puss. The forbidden shadow realm, I call it. <laughs> Sometimes, like, just you know, give them crystal balls a rub and see what's going on. Oh, Joe! GK! I'm JK Barry, come to my tour. Josh <laughs> <laughs> um, Pulse. I, there, is a, <laughs> there is quite a funny story about you as well, Mum, um, because essentially, Mum said years ago that um, there was someone was pulling the wire out of the hoover out the wall. Yeah. Um, I think we come to find out that you were just hoovering too aggressively. And no, 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 no. That was after my friend died. And, you know, I just, I wasn't a real believer, whatever. And we had a Dyson hoover and they had, they had plastic, like, like rubber plugs. Yeah. No way was that fucker coming out the wall. And it yeah. got pulled out the wall, not once, but several times. But you are an aggressive hoover. You are an aggressive hoover. Well, do you know why? Because nobody else hoovers in our house. <laughs> Next segment, we've got embarrassing Halloween themed stories. So spiders, Halloween themed, everyone whacks them around their house for Halloween. Dad has a story that happened to him, which is quite embarrassing about spiders. Terry, kick it off. Terry Bags. Right, down to me. Yeah. Uh, I had a spider when we first moved in our house. Mm -hmm. I was cutting all the bushes away and this spider bit me ear. And I didn't think nothing of it. And then we're out, me and mum, in the night. And I'm going to her, look, all these birds are looking at me. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, I must be, they're nuts. She went, no. She went, they're looking at your ear. I went, what do you mean? Me ear went up the size. It was We'd only been in our house It was giving week. rugby player cauliflower, wasn't I it? I went, we'd I been in the house rugby. a week and all he was doing was just chopping down the garden because it was so overgrown we moved in. And he went, oh, I think I'd been bitten. But then he saw this great big spider went, and I went, that won't bite, that wouldn't have bitten you. You'd have felt it. But he sort of went like that, you know, as men do. Oh my God, I've never seen. As we were out, in, the, in we, the first time we went out in Dubbo, wasn't it? Looked at the... I said, Terry, your ear. And he went, no, there's all these birds. I went, no, let me tell you, your ear. And his ear had doubled inside. Well, you had to hospital, didn't you? Know, hospital, you, know, you? Know, Mr. Potato yeah. Head, I took yeah. the hospital. Yeah. And do you know what happened? He got so big. And then where it went down, it just left all the... Like shriveled. Old skin. Ooh, oh, yeah. disgusting. Well, I remember you kept having to wear a beanie, didn't you? Oh, yeah. no, but you know what? No offence. I know, like, you know, there's millions of men out there, whatever. But, like, he was dying. You, you were like, take me to hospital. Oh, I love you and the oh, kids. I dying? went, oh, for fuck's sake, you've been bitten by a spider. I think that That's one terrible. thing about you, Dad, and I hope don't take this the wrong way, because I do love you, Terry, like Dad to me. Um, <laughs> <Coming to it. laughs> yeah, take that. Your pocket. honorary daughter. Yeah, honorary daughter. Do you know what I mean? Um, you are really dramatic about things. Like, oh, when I God. throw up, I just have to pattern it, throw up. When you throw up, it's like <laughs> downstairs. No, no, no. <laughs> Do you remember that night when he was sick and we were all upstairs? Oh, oh, couldn't stop laughing. You know. Couldn't stop well, laughing. We were literally up. It's like up. there's a there's a ten minute delay before the sick of a. <laughs> 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 It's, oh, pro it's proper noisy. But for it? anyone listening who's an, uh, um, uh, 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 metaphobic like me, <laughs> who doesn't like sick and is afraid of planes, no one likes I'm sick. sorry about what we just did. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, so that happened to you. Got it drained out of hospital. You're all right, yeah? Yeah, so you're an but I played on it weeks. for quite a couple of weeks. Yeah. Two weeks. Yeah. Played on it for a couple of weeks, didn't I? So that's yeah. your spooky, embarrassing Spider. story. You had cauliflower ear and no puss. From a spider. And no puss. <laughs> no puss. No puss. She won't go near you, will no, she? I fucking won't. No puss. Fuck a crown, no puss. <laughs> Mum, speaking of the spirit realm. Well, I can't even see you. You had an embarrassing moment going to see a clairvoyant, didn't you? Oh, God. Yeah, I don't, yeah. Do you know what? I don't like it. I don't like it. You don't like what? I don't like it. And then I get really so nervous. what happens is you get nervous about going. And then I drink you're... too much wine. Yep. And then, then, and then every letter of the alphabet is someone you know, isn't it? They sit there and they go, Right, I've got someone here. Nan begins with G. You, 
Well, I know can Diana I just, Simon's can son's I just dog was say, called Sherpa and he died. In, it must be for me. In my defence, I just sat there like a mute mm. and the girl I went well, with I went, to, to, went believe, to me. I've never seen you. I was shrinking in my chair and he kept saying, it's around you. So in the end, I went, yeah, okay. So I sort of, and um, the girl I was with went, I've never seen you so quiet because I shit my pants. Yeah. Right? And then I've never seen that quiet. And then I hit the fresh air. Mm -hmm. And I ping-ponged all the way home in my new camel. Solid, solid 15-minute walk as well. For in my, in my and then you was on your knees at the door. No, I no, no. You said I'm leaving the key out. I couldn't find the key. So you know when you lean forward to find it and when you've had a drink and then you just you you're not anticipating how far you're actually putting your head up against the door. And it was banging and banging Dolly, the door. Dolly, stop making you? noises. Dolly is licking the set, everyone. Oh. Right now. Anyway. Um, so basically, I had to have so help basically, you got, in the house. You got home rat ass, right? You're at the door. You're trying to lean down, get the head key. You're head banging, head banging at the door. We are all like, that must be her. Dad's looking through the stained glass window thinking, where is she? And you're on the floor. Yeah, and then do you know the funniest thing ever? I, I took all my clothes off, sat on the toilet and thought the toilet seat was up. And I pissed all over the toilet seat. It's happened to that us all, was, Listen, that was the first thing. Then I put all my pyjamas on, inside out, back to front. And then in the morning, I went to Dad. Fucking you know, hell, we must have had a power cut last night. My, my little clock's not working. He went, no, I'll tell you what happened, shall I? What did I do? You knocked the thing out the wall. I walked into you and you had all your clothes in your thing and you went, I'm not drunk. And she I mean, was ping-ponging everywhere. Sounds like me in Nottingham Uni. Give me R five, Lisa. <laughs> That's a JK and LB. That's how we do it, don't we? But you know what? I don't go out very often, but things like that really unnerve me because I'm scared of what I might hear. Yeah. Do you go yeah. really quiet then when you go to Clearborn? Yeah, I actually do. Oh, we better go to a few more then. Oh, <gasps> I know. I got contacted by spirits once. Began with tea. Mm. Tea, can you believe it? Tequila got fingered up the arse. <gasps> do you know what this is? Tay. Stop it. Can't help it. <laughs> I don't know if we are a sex symbol. No, oh, you put up her dress, Uncle oh, Fester. Did you put white Start. stuff on your legs? You for cheeky bastard. Wait till you get home. Do you know what? This is why he keeps saying to me, I look like a chip. I need a tan. A chip? I need a holiday. Unfried chip? Yeah, unfried. Potato? Yeah, I need a holiday. It's a bit rude, that, Lisa. I wouldn't take that, to oh, be honest. Oh, Joe, do you know what? Don't you ever make me dress up like this again. But I do a lot of tanning brand deals, so if you need any, let me know. Got a lot of gifting at home <laughs> in my Porsche, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can, you can do with yeah, that, nice. Yeah, exactly. You can fuck off. Right my new yeah. tan, Bariaki Burger, is coming to stores near you soon. Yeah. Golden crispy brown, do you know <laughs> what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, so. God, you look so beautiful as a woman. I know, Lisa. You I really know, do. I know, I know. You really do. I put the Barry in GK Barry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. <laughs> what's up, fucking I don't know. Uh, spooky story for me. Everyone knows that I lost my virginity dressed as a clown. Halloween 2015. Everyone knows. Got chlamids, whatever. 2015? Yeah, I know. Long time ago, Lisa, now. I think JLS was still in the charts. Oh, my God. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> GK, come on. Um, so, yeah. last... <laughs> Uh, I loved you. Okay. I used to love you. <laughs> I just don't know where it's coming from. It's uh, coming literally like out of my uh, mouth. Oh, I hope she's not dead because the uh, spirit is coming up in me right now. Uh, so last year I dressed up as... So basically, we didn't have any costumes. It was me and some people I don't want to talk about, exes, all that shit. Yeah. And we had to dress up. So we went to Slutty School Girls. Oh, I remember that. So last minute, Primark, you know, came through with a good... Shirts. You looked shirt great. Though. Looked great. Had a really good time. Met May Muller for the first time. She was dressed as Dita Von. What's her name? Yes. Yeah, slag bucket with the old black hair. I'd fuck her. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, so basically, um, oh. got home outside. Everyone decides it's funny to turn around at the door, run over to me and pull my skirt apart, rip my underwear. Cock's out. <laughs> Cock is out outside. What is it? October? Temperature's low. Shrivels. Anyway, so yeah, I'm outside. They all leave me. Go upstairs, go to flat. They got my fob. I'm stood there. With nothing cold. Arsehole out. Cock out. Don't know what to do. Was George with you? Yeah, George with me anyway. Oh. Did he not help you? No. No, that fucker did oh. not. No. Anyway, so go inside. I'm waiting for them to come back down with my key fob. Sat there, legs are spread, tatters of a skirt. Forget that George is there in front of me. Legs are spread. Turns around, he's looking at me, he goes, your cock is out. Your cock is out. Fuck is fucking on the floor. 
I'm sat there and things collecting dust, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I made it home, had my fillet of fish, fucked off to bed. I'm GK Barry, come finger me. <laughs> Cut. Uh. Um, yeah, look, on that note, Today has been a fabulous day having the Adams family on the pod. Not for me dressed like this, people. Uh, I, you would never see me like this again. You look fabulous. No, I don't. You I had... loved you in Saw 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Yeah, fuck right off. You had all the bloody budget for the makeup. Look at the state of me. Yeah, Uncle Fester, keep it in your pants. Saw the way you look to me when I came I'm going, in. I'm going home like this. I'm going out like this. Now, that's how you dress yeah. normally. Uh, sorry for the... Um, the sounds you've heard during this episode, we've had a dog here. She's Dolly's been, been, um, here. She's been sniffing, grunting, flapping a bit of wetness. Sounds like me on a Friday night, not in uni. Anyway, I've been GK Barry. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and watch on YouTube. Lisa, take away the rest. And she doesn't know if you've been listening on Spotify, make sure to rate it five stars. If not, eat I'm, a not puss. I'm not saying that because you made me dress up like this. You look stunning. No, I don't. You look, look stunning. Look horrible. I've yeah. been GK Barry. You look stunning. Shut up, yeah. This has been Uncle Festa and Morticia. Mummy Morticia. And we will see you. I'm when, not dressed up next time, when, let me tell you. When we see you. Yeah. Bye, guys. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Go Bye. home, eat some puss. <laughs>